You probably think that deer are harmless, but many of them are carrying something that is causing them to waste away like zombies. The medical community is not sure how this is being spread yet. All they know is that it creates holes in the brain, and that one day it might somehow spread to us. Number 13. A YouTuber named Piso Mojado records this zombie deer as it mindlessly spins around in circles at a public parking lot in the middle of the day. After a while, it briefly stops and has what could be considered a brief moment of clarity. You alright there, little guy? But then it falls over, gets up and resumes its frantic pacing. It runs in a half circle and heads towards the camera, but then it falls again and starts flailing wildly on the ground instead. The zombie deer seems dazed when it gets up a third time, like something has permanently changed in its mind. It calmly stumbles forward with a blank look in its eyes and drool falling from its mouth. Yeah, he's foaming at the mouth. Watching this video, it's hard to tell if this deer has CWD or rabies like the uploader claims. The two share many common symptoms such as drooling, disorientation, and aggression, so we may never know for sure. Either way, this man is lucky this deer decided to run away at the last moment instead of continuing its slow and steady charge in his direction. Number 12. This Snapchat video was taken at a school in Esterville, Iowa. You can see a deer standing outside looking very confused before it suddenly tries to get in without warning. Watch out. <laughs> Clearly, the zombie deer wants to get inside however it can, searching around the sides of the glass for an opening before giving up and resuming its confused vegetative state. Those inside are lucky that this deer is too small to break the glass. If this was a full-grown deer running at them, things could have been much different. Hopefully, they contacted animal control and thoroughly disinfected this door before letting anyone touch it. Number 11. A Facebook user sees this mutant deer outside of his house in the middle of the night and immediately begins recording. The deer is covered in strange growths and appears to have lost all fear of humans. One of his friends gets close and tries to feed the deer by hand, which I think is a bad idea because CWD could possibly be spread through saliva for all we know. The deer appears to be curious and actually considers eating from his hand before deciding to feast on the grass instead. Grass is not its preferred food choice, so I think this deer might be covered in gross and starving, but not necessarily has CWD. I've also never seen a deer with CWD eat before. That still doesn't explain why it comes alarmingly close to both of them though, so maybe this deer does have CWD after all. Number 10. A mother deer aimlessly walks in circles while its young grazes nearby. You can tell that one of her fawn senses that something is deeply wrong with its mother at the 1 minute 23 second mark, but it can't tell exactly what the problem is. Judging from the deer's high steps and low grass, it seems to have some sort of neurological problem, most likely CWD. According to the uploader, the mother deer wandered over to a nearby creek and fell into the water. She was unable to lift her neck out of the shallow water and passed away. They have been leaving some corn for the fawn to survive on. Hopefully, they do not get CWD as well. Number 9. This old VHS video marks one of the earliest documented cases of CWD amongst the deer population. Notice how these signs could easily be mistaken for rabies or something similar. They were staggering and drooling. They showed signs of extreme thirst. Their ears drooped and their coats were rough. This deer appears to be in the late stages of CWD, at which point it becomes too incapacitated to walk in circles. Instead, they stand with their legs spread very far apart and stare without blinking. This poor animal appears to be completely vacant and not panicking like many of the others on this list. It's the end of a long journey. Its brain is likely too far gone to feel any discomfort at all. Number 8. Steve Beltran sees an infected deer on his street and begins recording this brief 10 second video as proof. 
The poor deer looks to be in a total panic as it spins in place, completely oblivious to Steve and his camera. Maybe it's just me, but Steve seems to be standing way too close here. The zombie deer could accidentally stumble over and fall on him. All I'm saying is I definitely wouldn't want to come into close physical contact with anything that's been infected, especially with CWD. Number 7 a YouTuber named Jawguy7 is hanging out at a creek when a mangy lone deer comes wandering up to them. I can't tell for sure, but I think it makes two strange noises that I have never heard come from a deer before. The deer calmly walks past them without any fear and goes to the river but does not drink. Eventually, it turns towards them and gives him a cold, blank stare. There seems to be no life or thought behind its eyes as it holds him in its gaze. Long strands of drool hang from its lips, indicating possible CWD. Obviously, this creature is thirsty, but at the same time, it lacks. The cognitive facilities needed to take a drink, CWD has left it just smart enough to find a water source, yet far too gone to quench its thirst. Hopefully this was reported to Animal Wildlife Control so they could help the deer. Number 6 this deer is being tested for CWD by the Wyoming Game and Fish Department. Researchers take tissue and fluid samples, including removing its tonsils. By the end of it all, they are practically drenched in potentially hazardous materials. Their goal is to measure the effects of CWD within the deer population, but some commenters believe these researchers are going to be the first ones to get contaminated themselves. Here you can see them taking a sample without wearing gloves, and their hands are stained in red. I do think they should at least use gloves, but then again, these are trained professionals, and I guess they are not required to do so by law. I don't see any cuts on their hands, so I guess they could be fine. Theoretically speaking at least, still considering we don't know how CWD is spread, it seems like a big gamble to take. Let me know if you think this could be a problem or not for the speed of invasive cognitions. Number 5 This young fawn has contracted an illness that is most likely CWD. It alters between standing paralyzed in place and spinning in circles, its neck rotating wildly all the while. At times it looks like its neck is going to snap, like here for instance. Maybe it is even trying to put itself out of its own misery. One thing that's strange is that this deer seems to prefer standing in areas with sunlight. Whether or not this sunlight seeking behavior is based on instinct or actually provides some sense of relief is hard to tell for sure. Number 4 this strange deer keeps repeatedly wandering into the yard of a YouTuber named Free Tickies. It seems to be without a herd, so at first Free Tickies suspects that it could be someone's pet, which is not all that uncommon of an occurrence where he lives in Kentucky. After a minute or so, it becomes evident that this deer is sick with something quite serious. Watch here and you'll see how the deer looks disoriented enough to walk up to another neighbor's house. I have little doubt that it would have wandered straight through the front door if it was open, potentially contaminating the entire inside. The YouTuber says that he called the local wildlife authorities and reported the deer shortly after recording this two minute video. I think he keeps a respectful distance for the most part and appears to be safe from any potential contamination. As for the deer, it sadly had to be put down by government officials after it kept walking onto the nearby Route 8 highway. Number 3 This deer looks like it could be fine except it's walking in circles with its tongue hanging out without a clue of its surroundings. A telltale sign of CWD. The person recording thinks this could be the work of hunters but I disagree. Watch this part and tell me what you really think happened. Oh yeah, I might get shot. The deer circles in place for well over a minute and then silently walks out to a nearby field. The way it is walking here makes me think that this is the result of something to do with the brain. The animal is so out of it that it looks ready to walk through the front door of a nearby home. Perhaps this exact scenario is precisely how it will one day spread to humans. I really hope this incident was reported to the proper wildlife agency for further investigation. Number 2 
This Michigan research station keeps track of the local deer population. The only way to check for CWD is to look at the brain, so this means... In most cases, the head will then be collected, tagged, and sent to the disease lab, where they will be tested for CWD. Basically, there are buildings full of frozen deer heads sitting on display waiting to be tested. Notice how the workers are not fully covered from head to toe biohazard gear. I'm not an expert on CWD by any means, but I would feel a lot better about the situation if they were wearing gear that covers their entire head. Seeing all that exposed skin while working around potentially infected deer heads seems like the perfect opportunity for it to spread to humans. Let me know if you agree, or am I just overreacting? Before we get to number one, my name is Chills and I hope you're enjoying my narration. If you're curious about what I look like in real life, then go to my Instagram at DylanIsChillinYT and tap that follow button to find out. My new music video, Stranger, was recently released. Could I get your honest opinion on whether it's good or bad? Tap the circle icon in the top right corner. Then tap my music video to watch it. It's a proven fact that generosity makes you a happier person. So if you're generous enough to hit that subscribe button and the bell beside it, then thank you. This way you'll be notified of the new videos I upload every Thursday and Saturday. Number 1. This deer appears to have a massive growth that has taken over the entire right side of its head. I was thinking that this could possibly even be exposed brain, but I doubt it would still be alive if that were truly the case. Either way, the deer appears to be very much alert and not in a vegetative state, which suggests that this is just a growth. But then again, maybe it's going through the early stages of CWD and still has some brain function. The quiet wild animal seems to be completely unafraid of the camera and makes no attempts to get away. Based on its lack of a reaction, I would say this specimen is halfway through becoming an actual zombie deer. 